Sir John, thank you so much for putting it together and especially in that perspective of the public good. Um, I, I have two questions in particular. So there's kind of a headline that among the recommendations in the most recent assessment to government as you explain the process, one of the recommendations made was for a national digital twin, so-called, and that one wasn't taken up by the government. Now, my own surmise is that sounds a little bit too ambitious as a way to start, perhaps. What I'm hoping is meant by national digital twin is various ways of sharing open information which might have to do with underground utilities from one utility to the next or one contract to the next or with boreholes of geotechnical conditions. Another type of open information that could be shared are the notion of digital components which should be reused across roadway schemes or rail schemes and so forth. Is, is there hopefully, can you explain sort of what about, what was not taken up and, and is there scope for, uh, for uh, public policy to endorse this information sharing at maybe lesser degrees to start with? I, probably this was one which fell into the too difficult box for government at the moment. Uh, the, the concept is, is I think, uh, is understood. It does, of course, mean this is about information which is not necessarily held also in the public uh, hands. Uh, if you, as I have been, if you go to meetings with the different water companies that operate in the UK, they will talk about exchanging information and data uh, between their different networks. Uh, getting them to actually do it uh, is another issue. But I think the, the, the whole concept of the digital twin is inevitable. I think what, I mean, as I said earlier on, I think what has been interesting is the way in which data for the, uh, for the public good has actually sparked a lot of debate, a lot of discussion. And I think um, within the industries um, and the different sectors, people are actually alighting on this. And everything that uh, Greg was talking about this morning, I think is absolutely fantastic news uh, for our industry because it ought to start to enable us to make the changes which are necessary if we're going to keep up with, uh, with other industries because at the moment we're not. We are the laggards of industry. Well, we certainly, to end on a high note, <laughs> <laughs> we certainly think go going digital <laughs> is everyone's idea in every industry. Uh, and, and just to be serious about something, that, that to me, the autonomous vehicle uh, gold rush of brain power working on that and okay, we now see that there's some aspects of it that are hard, but we used to think, well, that'll be eventually, and now we know it's imminent, and how infrastructure is part of it is really, and we've been stimulated by that. Let's all, you know, stand up straight and say, going digital is gonna create terrific uh, benefits for us. I think putting together, sharing information, and private investment, there are opportunities to provide infrastructure as a service drainage as a service, for instance. It's all kinds of opportunities are there when we bring, you know, immersive visualization and analytics visibility into what we've been doing. And what we've already done as engineers should be the digital DNA for these valuable use cases we're, we're talking about. And technology can help. And our single responsibility at Bentley Systems, we think, is to make the engineering data no longer dark but available to be digital components in digital context for digital workflows for all these digital twins that we'll be talking about from now on. Yeah. I'm picking up Greg's point about let's send on a positive note. <laughs> uh, I'm f I started my life as a contractor, therefore I'm an optimist. You have to be. <laughs> uh, and, uh, and I also, you know, people say to me, well, can or cannot it be built? To which my answer is always, we can build anything. The challenge is how quickly can we build it and how cost effectively can we, we build it? Anything that I believe we can imagine, sooner or later, we will do. That's the nature of the human brain. That's the, hu uh, that's the nature of uh, human inspiration. Imagine it, we'll do it. Might take a little time to get there, but 
eventually we will do it. And uh, I think the great thing about uh, everything that uh, Bentley and the companies that you work with are associated with are you are helping us to fulfill that imagination to actually create better infrastructure.